what's up guys. Uh, quick pickups video here. This is the stuff I've uh, picked up over the past few weeks. Um, not a whole lot. Uh, some Definitely some quality stuff though. Uh, starting off right here, just grabbed this a few hours ago, uh, Super Mario Land, or Super Mario 3D Land. Really has nothing to do with Super Mario Land. Um, you know, the old original Game Boy games. Um, kind of a cross between Mario 3 and Mario Galaxy. The first couple levels are pretty much traditional Mario type stuff. Um, from what I hear, it opens up a lot after the 8th world, I believe. Um, graphics are great. Uh, 3D seems to be really great so far. Um, got really good reviews, so I'm uh, pretty uh, pretty excited to play through that. I, um, I grabbed three 2800 point cards. Um, how did that work out? So a local store here in Ontario, kind of like a grocery slash Walmart store. Uh, it was the uh, great, it's called the or the Real Canadian Superstore. Um, Loblaws too, I believe. Had a deal on Microsoft points cards for half price. So they're 20 bucks each. Uh, they were completely sold out, but I brought the flyer to Walmart. Um, I had to do it at two different Walmarts. Uh, the first one denied me. Um, anytime you're trying to, trying to get like a, a price match at Walmart, if possible, uh, take it to a cashier. Don't take it to the guys in the electronics or video games section because uh, they know the ins and outs. You know, a cashier, like we just, a friend of mine and I got three each and we just took it up to a cashier and she looked at it and ran it right through. Um, a lot of times they won't give it to you if the item is, is uh not in stock at the store where the sale price is, if that makes sense to you. Um, either way, extremely happy to get these points. I used uh, uh, I, I used I think what four thousand points to get the Call of Duty Elite. So it ended up costing me. I think I worked it out to twenty eight dollars instead of the fifty that they're charging. Um, that's in Canada at least. It's a little bit higher here, which is ridiculous, but. Um, yeah, so those three cards. I picked up the Eco and Shadow of Colossus uh, HD collection. Haven't had a chance to put this in yet, but uh, two of my favorite games of all time. Um, up res in HD, better frame rate. Um, Shadow of the Colossus was kind of notorious for having a, a really poor frame rate. Um, pretty excited to play through those two. I'm not sure when I'll do it, but this will go in the backlog, and hopefully I'll get to it eventually. Uh, as I said, I picked up Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Um, I, I haven't played a whole lot. I played a lot of special ops with a buddy of mine. Um, it takes me a long time to get back into these. I'm terrible at the start until I open up a couple perks and get, my, get used to aiming again. Um, I'm never that good to begin with. I mean, if I can get a pot or a, an even kill death ratio at one or just a little over one, I'm happy. Um, yeah, not not very good at these games, but uh, really happy with Modern Warfare Three. I've only played a small portion of the single player, but I already like it more than uh, than Black Ops. Um, yeah, great game. It's, Call of Duty Elite's been a pain in the ass to get online, but um, you know I haven't had much chance to get into that. So uh, the next thing I grabbed here was the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Uh, I've been spending my uh, the majority of my time playing through this. Uh, fantastic game. Um, to be honest, I really wasn't blown away by the graphics. I know the three the three sixty I installed it on my hard drive, and that's apparently a no no. It messes up the textures and only gives you the uh, yeah, kind of like the low res textures that you would see from a. Uh, they render things low res, like like in the in the background in the in the background, like far off in the mountains. And then as you get closer, it's uh, you know it's rendered to the proper graphics. The problem with installing it on the 360 itself, apparently, those textures never change, so everything looks very pixelated. Um, I deleted that the install and uh, it's it's okay. I messed around with my TV a lot because I really wasn't impressed that much with the graphics. I thought it was going to be kind of night and day compared to uh, Oblivion or even the Fallout series, but um, still some of the same issues. the uh, The characters look 
the animation isn't great. The hair is still pretty bad. Um, the voice work, like the actual animations of the mouths, aren't 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 that great. So um, it's, it's still a beautiful game. I guess I just my expectations were a little bit too high. I also picked up. I don't normally grab um, game or strategy guides until you know, like later on. I will if I can get them for a buck or two, but. This is the hardcover uh, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Skyrim uh, hardcover um, strategy guide. I actually pre-ordered this a couple months ago on uh, on Amazon. This is the if I were to get a strategy guide, you know, this is the type of game to do it for. Um, it's it's a beautiful book. It's, it's really thick, full color, beautiful artwork on the hardcover. Um, it was something like twenty two dollars. In Canada, they charge if you were to pick this up at GameStop here, it's forty six ninety nine, which is insane. Um, for twenty four dollar, twenty two dollars, I think it was. This was a no brainer. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Gives you uh, some good breakdowns on, um, uh, like examples of character builds that you can do. Right now, I'm a battle mage. Um, you know, so my my guy's primarily magic focused, but can still uh, wield a sword um, and handle himself and you know, close quarters combat at least. Um, yeah, I, I'm really impressed with this guide. I've never seen a guide quite this thorough or just well done. Uh, full color maps and stuff too is really cool. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's that. The Skyrim hardcover uh, strategy guide. Really cool piece. That's kind of, that's really nice to hold on to too. This stuff will hold its value. Uh, you know, that'll be worth more than the game at some point. Uh, the next thing I picked up was the uh, Automo Auto Automedius Excellent. It's a uh, shmup for the 360 uh, from the makers, or uh, inspired by the Gradius series. Um, really cool, over-the-top Japanese. I've only played a few minutes of this. I just got it, so... It uh, comes with some pretty cool stuff here too. It was forty nine ninety nine, so kind of a budget title. It's probably not that long of a game, but here's the game there. Fuck. Also comes with um, an art book, which is pretty cool. Full of uh, it's got a nice soundtrack here too. Um, full of you know young looking large boob girls Japanese anime style pretty cool art book though actually uh, and it also comes with this I'm not even going to open this really it's a pillowcase it's got a couple of girls on them um, yeah so that's that okay now probably the thing I was most excited about was uh, finally picking this up. This is Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. Um, picked it up for twenty dollars on eBay. That's a pretty decent price. It's anywhere from twenty to forty dollars. This game, complete, it goes up to about a hundred. Um, this was towards the end of the Game Boy Color's life, so I guess a whole bunch weren't produced. Um, they didn't sell a whole lot either. Um, not this. This game is rated on IGN as a ten out of ten, which surprised me. I went back. I knew it was a good game. I had it as a kid, and I just remember loving it. While well, a kid, I must have been came out in two thousand, so I was probably nineteen twenty actually. Um, uh, it, it's a lot like the first Metal Gear Solid. Um, some of the same concepts. It's got the VR missions. Uh, it's extremely well done for a Game Boy Color game. Uh, it's just kind of way ahead of its time. It's it's still a Game Boy Color game, so don't expect a whole lot. But for what for what it was, it was a uh, pretty impressive, fun game too. Great story. Um, it's an actual Metal Gear Solid game. Like I believe this one, uh, Kojima was involved in this one, not like the like the old Nintendo ones. Uh, if you get a chance, pick that up. This game, I love this game. Uh, to continue with the Metal Gear Solid theme, I was at uh, GameStop today and I noticed the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Limited Edition. Uh, I didn't have this game yet. I, uh, I hear nothing but great things about it. I have it actually on my PSP uh, 
my modded PSP, and I played a bit of it on there. Um, I'm not going to play it on the PSP, probably. I'll probably just keep this sealed. Uh, I'll show you why in a second here. But uh comes with a kind of like a almost like a dossier art book. Uh, I'm just going to keep it sealed. I mean, there's plenty of unboxings of these on online. Uh, that was 20 bucks, so I can't really pass that up. Uh, the final thing here that I picked up is the uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection Limited Edition. Um, I'm really enjoying picking up these limited editions, um, especially something like this. This, this to me, was a must-have. I, uh, I'm not typically, or I wasn't in the past, somebody who bought special editions, but uh, lately I've kind of liked having them. Um, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, so this one, like I said, was a no-brainer for me. I, it comes with a art book. There's the game there. As you can see, it's still in the shrink wrap. I haven't even had a chance to play that yet. Um, as I said, most of my time has been going into Skyrim. So, uh, But here's the art book, which is really, really nice. Uh, breaks down each game individually. Artwork for each game. Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, and 3, Snake Eater. Uh, I haven't actually played Metal Gear Solid 3 yet. I was going to wait for the Vita version, but I think I'm actually going to go through 2 and 3. Um, in the HD collection. Peace Walker also. That's why I haven't played Peace Walker. That's why I'm not going to play on the PSP. I think I'd rather play it up res than the HD collection. Um, pretty annoyed, actually, that it doesn't have Metal Gear Solid, the original, uh, the first Metal Gear Solid on here. I mean, I know it's apparently it's hard for them to up res uh, PS1 games to make them HD. Apparently they can't do it. I don't really care. I mean, even download voucher for the PSN Metal Gear Solid. Um, there had to have been a way they could have thrown Twin Snakes on there for sure, uh, which would have made this probably the best, you know, like HD collection at least ever made. To have all four of those games on here would have been outstanding. Uh, still a nice package, um, but like I said, I just can't believe that part the original Metal Gear Solid is not on here. That is my favorite game of all time. Um, yeah, I would have loved to pay, play uh, even just a slightly tweaked um, uh, Twin Snakes version of that game in HD. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to have to find time to play, play through those Metal Gear games. Uh, last thing here is just a couple games that a friend of mine gave me. I'll probably just use these, harvest them for the cases. Uh, F1 2001. Uh, Madden 2004 and Tiger Woods 2003. Actually, I'm going to keep Madden 2004. That was one of my favorite football games. Um, almost, I think it was 2000, maybe 2003. The one when they started doing the like collectible cards and you could um, like character boosts and I think that you could collect new stadiums through cards was kind of cool. Uh, anyways, that's it for now. I'm thinking about doing, starting to do some collection videos, so I was thinking to start with my uh, uh, my original Game Boy uh, collection, and then uh, maybe on to my uh, Master System collection down there. I'll slowly work my way through every collection I have, um, you know, in these winter months that I'm not making a whole lot of pickups, so I think I'll just uh, kind of go through and show you guys all my games at some point. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you later.